great. All right, so this is my 2015 Dodge Ram, it's the 1500 model. It's got the Hemi and my windows won't roll down. So let's kind of do it, just a quick video of how to easy test this, to rule out whether it's the switch, the motor, or some type of wire integrity. So typically you gotta roll, you hit the button, it's supposed to roll down, right? But in this case, driver's side's not doing it, passenger side not doing it. Well, the way that I kind of test this the quick and easy dirty way and it's more reliable, is I go to the passenger side and see if this window rolls down. So this window rolls down fine with no issues. And I'll do this for this one in the back. And as you can see, my windows are rolling down perfectly fine. So, and I already checked the driver's rear. So that tells me that my motors are working wires are good and more than likely it's the master switch now you can take it out test powers grounds wire integrity and all that stuff but this is pretty much quick and dirty if all the windows work more than likely um this is what goes bad common failure in fact this is actually a replacement so when i bought the truck the original one started doing the same thing and none of them worked now got this one from amazon it's from switch doctor the one I have bought, I bought it from eBay and I paid, well, pretty much what it's worth, $20. And it only lasted like a month. Reached out to the company. The good thing about them, um, they offered to send me another one for replacement. So I'll take that one, put it away. And that way, if this uh, issue happens and I can't roll up my windows, I at least have something to kind of get me going. The Switch Doctor one has really good reviews. It's supposed to be better quality. So I guess we'll find out. So you kind of want to get a pry tool, pry this open just like so that comes out your wires are a little tight so you know don't pull too much you can break some wires i'm gonna pull this tab out and these will kind of pop out just like so can't do it one-handed so let me get these two out this connector down there connector right over here so now this is the one from switch doctor just kind of do a comparison compared to this uh cheap ebay one in fact the switch doctor one and i know the camera don't show it actually looks a lot more like the original one compared to this one and these buttons just they never felt right these actually feel really good so make sure you got the right one they have the ones that have for the power mirrors and then there are some that look very similar but they're actually for the caravans and the chargers just kind of make sure you match up for the dodge ram truck so these are right here go ahead and plug that into that make sure they click in and then this should just kind of pop in nice and easy like so and it actually fits way better than the other one and now that this is plugged in my window works can we roll up the other side perfect let's check these back windows awesome everything works this was only about 35 dollars on amazon had a lot of good reviews so I guess that's a good thing. The quality feels a lot better. Um, you can go with the original one from the dealer, but I think that one's like over $200. This one people have said is the last at least a year. So if I even get a year out of it, that's pretty cool. When the company sends me the replacement one of this one, I'll keep it as a spare. That way, if I'm in a bind, I'll probably just pop this under my truck, under the seat somewhere. If I'm in a bind, at least I could roll up my window. So very simple, easy repair. I'll put a link to the Amazon. Um, page for the switch doctor one in case anybody's interested in it but key takeaway is is that don't assume that your windows are bad or chase down wiring if it rolls down with all the other switches more than likely this goes bad and this is a common failure item thanks for watching and we'll see what we fix next